welcome back to Craig's Cabin. It's been a while. Well, a week or so since I posted the last video. So today we're going to do the MRE drink that I received. It's guava flavoured and also bought from Poundland, one of these cheap, put it the right way up, first aid kits. So let's jump straight into this and see what we've got in this first aid kit. Obviously it's Pound from Poundland. Just see if it's any good. So we've got a bit of elastic gauze bandage, a very small amount of surgical tape, very small amount there. We have the Master Plast First Aid Guide for you to write down your phone numbers for your GP and emergency contacts. It's got the advice about what to do about insect stings, treatments for young children, uh, choking, minor burns, severe burns and scalds, foreign objects in eyes, sunburn, nosebleeds, bleeding, breathing, airways and basic first aid. What else we got in here? It opens up again. How do I do that one? Yeah, that's it. So it gives you a little bit of first aid advice there. Then we've got a non adherent pad, some tiny, tiny plasters. Just see how many we've got there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tiny, tiny plasters. Another gauze dressing. Some slightly bigger plasters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those ones. Some two alcohol prep pads and to be fair I've got some of them indoors uh, the old KFC alcohol lemon wet wipe things and we've got some even bigger plasters one two three five six seven eight more of those I mean it's not a proper survival first aid kit it's more for when you get yourself a little boo-boo <laughs> It doesn't require a hospital treatment. It's basically the equivalent to a magic sponge, isn't it? That we all used to have. Oh, wet the magic sponge, put the magic sponge on it and make it better. That's basically what this is. It's a give your kids a bit of peace of mind pack. Is it worth the money? Well, considering it was a pound. That's a nice bright green one. It goes on your belt. Sturdy zip on it. Feels water resistant. Let me try that in fact. See if it's actually water resistant. Soak that in water. Give it a bit of a rub in. And then we'll see what, what it's like. And yes, it's actually water resistant, waterproof. None of the the plasters are wet in there. So I'm gonna stick that up on there on the wall. Ready for use for another time. That's first aid kit from Poundland. It's only cheap, it's cheerful, it's equivalent to a magic spun in, sponge in my opinion. It wouldn't save your life. But it's a thumbs up just for a little cheap bit of kit. And these first aid rules are going to go and get filed away as well. Right. Now the one I've been looking forward to. Because I've been trying to get some MREs for a long, long time. That are cheap enough. And are not just out of date ones for collectors. Because I don't want to spend a load of money on these things if they're going to be horrible. But, never mind. Right, it says we've got to use 500ml 
of water. Okay. Give or take a bit. There we go. Put that there for a minute while I open this pack. And it is guava flavour. May contain eggs, cereals, gluten, milk, celery, mustard, soybean, sulfate. At levels above 10 milligrams. It's nutritional information per half a packet. Well, per two packets even. No cholesterol. 0.1 grams of fat. 86.9 carbohydrates. 365k carb energy. A lot of salt. 0.2 grams of dietary fiber, 46.6 grams of sugar. So let's give this a try, shall we? I've got one more in the bag, which I'm looking to. It doesn't smell. It doesn't smell very nice. Let me shake it up. It still doesn't smell that good, but. Yeah, I'm going to take one of these down in the woods and go with the boys again. I've still got some a shelter I want to build and I'm going to do some cooking with them over the campfire. Okay, tip that in there. Look at that. I'm going to use this because I didn't bring a spoon down with me. I'm just going to sit there and mix that in for a bit. So, next on the channel... We're going to have a video of, I think it's Alaskan bush people, which I quite enjoy watching that. It's where they've left the mainland, they've gone into their own little place, which they're calling Brown Town, and they're living there together. Um, and they've been doing it for so long, they've actually developed their own accents and the way they talk and everything. And I think it's good, and they trade with people to get stuff and they're basically they're living off the land and anything they need that they can't source they're trading for they're a bit wary of other people because they don't want people infiltrating their town and messing it all up they just want to live off the grid which <laughs> at this point in during lockdown i could absolutely sympathize with it's been six months and except for the the shopping and the errands that I've had to run, I have not been out of the house for the sake of protecting my family because they're high, and my partner is severely high risk. Um, more health issues have come to light that has made her health a lot worse. Um, yeah, and basically, we're just trying to protect ourselves while all this is going on and not believing absolutely everything. We're making our own opinions. We're just keeping ourselves safe and doing what we feel will keep us safe. So, let's put a bit more water in this, I think. There we go. Definitely needs a bit more water because it's a bit strong, but... Except for them, them making it up. I needed a quick boost and drink and place my fluids. I would definitely drink that again. Just a bit more water in there. There we go. <sighs> Now that was nice. Didn't smell too good when it was in powdered form. Okay, when I opened the pack, it didn't smell too good. It smelled like um, dehydrated milk mixed with something else. A bit fruity. But then... Oh, I've got a burp coming, sorry. <coughs> Pardon me. But then mix it all up and drink it. It was a bit strong to start with. I added a bit more water. Water. And it was actually really, really nice. I would actually drink that again. 
and I will be drinking that again because I've got another pouch of it in the bag. So I managed to find them cheap and tried them. Now I've just got to try and get some of the, the food and the sweets and the crackers and that from the old ration packs. As long as they're all in date. And I went to a shop today. Um, they had the MREs in and they were a reasonable price. I've not seen them particular ones before. Um, and then when I looked at the date, they were out of date. I know MREs last a long time. But these were collectors ones, they were really out of date, you could not eat them. So, back to square one with that. So, for this video, for our first aid kit from Poundland, well, I'll say our, our magic sponge kit from Poundland, I'm going to call it, and the MRE Guava Isotonic Drink, they are both definitely getting a thumbs up. I'm going to have to get some more of those. I'm going to have to see if I can find another place that does the MRE food. Uh, I've got a place in mind, but at the moment I'm not sure if it's open because of the quarantine. It's it's a market, local, and I've seen them there before. But whether the market's on at the moment, whether I feel safe enough to go, is a completely different story. So I hope you're all staying safe. You're doing your best to stay safe as much as you possibly can. We're trying to get up to 750 subscribers to do a giveaway. However, I know it's hard. It's taken us a while to get up to 500 subscribers. So, if you guys can share the channel, get people to subscribe as much as you possibly can. On the 1st of September, I will see how close we are and how many people have subscribed. And I'll make a decision. I might just do the giveaway anyway. So what we're, the way we're going to work it is that we're going to, I'm going to put a video up. And I will warn you all beforehand. I'll say in the video before. I'll also mention on Facebook and Instagram. Tumblr. Um, yeah. And I'll say next video. I want you all to comment. To enter the draw. And we'll do a giveaway. So. I've got. I've got some things. Ready. I need boxing up and sending but we want to get these subscribers up as much as we can so try 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 to subscribe as much as you can share on all your social media get people to subscribe to this channel and we get this giveaway going it would be nice to reach our goal of a thousand obviously we're not gonna do that by the first of September short of a miracle <laughs> Uh, yeah, so just as many people as we can get them subscribed by the 1st of September, and I might just do the giveaway anyway, just as a thank you for all of you people subscribing and keeping me doing these videos, because th over the last six months of this lockdown, this is the only thing that's been keeping me sane, really, if I'm honest. Um, I've got my kids, they're driving me absolutely bonkers, I've got my partner, I've got being locked down for this six months just to keep everybody safe and only doing essential shopping and it is finally finally getting to me and i had a little wobble and i felt really depressed the other day hence the reason why there's been no videos for a while so let's get back into this Let, let's build this morale up let's get loads of people on this channel and let's get on doing more and more videos if we get enough pe uh, people subscribed, enough time watched, we'll get it monetized and it'll be a lot easier to do these review videos because basically YouTube will be paying for it. <laughs> so I'm not too worried about the monetizing, just I want people to subscribe to the channel so we get this channel out there, give me more of a, a boost to say, right, people are watching, get and do it. So like, subscribe, share the channel as much as you possibly can and get people subscribed to it. Next video is going to be 
about the Alaskan bush people. And I've got the little stuff ready for the giveaway. I've also got some more videos planned. I'm not quite sure how they're going to work yet, but we'll get on to it. So, thumbs up for me. Stay safe.